Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and please do just simply leave the rest of it aside. If you have any questions you would like to contact me please do so. You can find all my information right below into the YouTube description box. May it be contact, may it be list of readings, whatever you need is right there. It'll be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be greatly appreciated. And I do thank you so very much. With no further ado, actually, I have one last thing, but it is so very important. I want to thank all my beautiful subscribers for being there, for listening, for caring, and for commenting. Um, also, I would like to thank my subscribers who have um, donated so generously to the channel. I do thank you so very much. It is always greatly appreciated. So let's begin this reading now. Angel messages meant for you. I have four of them. Take what's good. Leave the rest aside. So, we're going to begin here with um, Archangel Jeremiel. I have Archangel Raphael. I also have Archangel Michael. And I have Archangel, uh, not Archangel, I'm sorry. I have Cassiel. So let's start this off over here with a little bit of awakening. So the angels, when they're speaking about awakening for you, each per person now is born with a unique fingerprint of God, each one of us. And we are really that summation of all that multitude of ingredients together that make us exactly who it is that we are, that you are. So we are born into specific families, specific places with challenges and with that nurturing that we need to learn, we need to grow into. And this is who we become. But beyond that, we're made of instinctive traits, of fears, of passions, of longings. And all of this, it reflects on our nature. Now, the angels want you to know that right now, it's time for you to look. Look at what these clues are telling you about you. Your true nature is more um, than a few personality traits or interests or experiences. It is time to go beyond them, into the silence to discover what lies beneath all of these. What is that special? What is that unique essence that makes you, you? It's time to truly feel that perfect, that God, that goddess, that exists of the core of your very being. It is time that you may better see the true path of your experiences and that you're taking on and what parts of yourself are taking on this task also. So this is about your life and how you must let go in order to experience more happiness, in order to experience more integrity. This is a time of awakening. It's a time of waking up to the core of who you are and an immense potential that you hold in each and every moment. Moving on forward now to your following message. We do have here a message of healing. And this is with Archangel Raphael. Now healing, healing is that process, that process of bringing that wholeness to something that has become fractured, impaired, or even I would say diseased. In order to experience that healing, balance has to be returned to the place of disharmony. Now this is going to occur when the, pol the polar aspects of a thing, a situation, or an issue, or a trauma just kind of come into a balance. In order to experience that healing, a balance of perspective must occur. Now, through bringing that balance to how you perceive life, you can open up and you can even deeper, you can even go to a deeper state of healing, which is the state of acceptance. To experience that state of acceptance is to embrace life, yourself, your path. And you have to always do what you can do to protect, to nurture, and to have clear boundaries for yourself and to that space that belongs to you. And that doesn't mean that we can't find the perfection in all of the experiences. This is a time of healing for you. It's a time of finding your wholeness, of acceptance, of balance for your self. You need to seek the assistance of a counselor or a healer or a medical doctor. Now is the time for you to do that. Now sometimes the way to bring healing to our body or to our mind is through nutrition. 
exercise. Um, you need to remember that the body and the mind, they make the whole. So no matter what is ailing you at this time, it is so important for you to consider both the physical and the mental and emotional aspects of your healing right now. This is a time of healing, but it's a time of healing through your wholeness. Moving on forward now to protection. Protection is with Archangel Michael. Protection exists in our ability for us to draw our boundaries into our life. Protection occurs when you learn about what it is that's not good for you and, and you learn how to take the appropriate action to ensure that your boundaries are always um, accepted and respected. Now, there's also something to be said about overprotecting yourself, though. If you have those those built walls all around you, protecting you from your love, your life, your intimacy, your success, or anything else, it is definitely time for you to reevaluate where this is getting you. And if you feel the need to be overprotected, then there is an issue with feeling un safe and you may need to reflect on and maybe even clear a hurt or a pain that you are holding on to you you may need to let go of any inner voices any of those inner voices that is telling you that you are not safe you need to clarify right now your boundaries do not let them be crossed call on to the divine assistance if necessary and let those walls down this is being asked to reflect upon boundaries within your life. Do you know what your boundaries are in relation to work or relationships or home or any other aspects of your life? Are you feeling safe in your home, in your workspace, in your relationships, etc.? What can you do now to ensure that your needs are met and that you are able to feel safe and you're able to feel protected in your life? This is what you have to figure out. Remember that you also are never, ever alone. Don't forget to call upon the divine protection from Archangel Michael and your angels and your guides and the universe to come in and to help you if necessary. And we're going to conclude this reading here with a little bit of stillness. And this is with uh, a message by Cassiel. So within that stillness, within that silence of the womb, that all life is formed, it is often through that space of non-activity that we allow something so much deeper to emerge. When we surrender our will to the universe, we become receptive to the will of the divine. We become open to the life that we allow, that new life, to form, but within us. Stillness and silence, they're essential parts of our daily balance. Without sleep, we cease to function. Without physicality, um, both physically and psychologically. So this is really about, you know, I know that we're in a fast-paced world, action-packed, outcome-based culture, stillness, but both. This is so very important that you do this, okay? Very important to find that, that stillness within you. So you may be feeling anxious, you may be feeling excited to have a particular even sort of movement in your life or experience a particular outcome, but it's not yet time for that outcome. This is a time for you to simply surrender. And when the time is right for activity and for movement, you're going to be you're going to be um, you're going to be receiving that message. You're going to know because it is going to be natural and easier easier um, rather than frustrated and being forced to do something. So you need to wait for that divine timing. This is a time for stillness. It's a time for going within, for pruning your inner garden before decorating it. So this is really, truly a time for you to find your beautiful stillness in order to move on into your journey. And so this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it brought you some very interesting messages. If you have any questions and you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And uh, I do thank you so very much. I wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages.